a couple of weeks ago I was going through the want ads when I read Macy's Herald Square, the largest department store in the world, has great opportunities for fun-loving, outgoing people of all shapes and sizes who want more than just a holiday job. I circled the ad entitled, One Size Fits All, <laughs> and then I laughed out loud. The man seated next to me in the coffee shop turned on his stool, checking to see if I was a lunatic, until the check came, and I remembered I don't have a job. Yes, I'm a 50-year-old man who applied for a job as an elf. You know, the only thing worse than applying for a job as an elf is the very real possibility that I might not get a job as an elf, and then I'd have to explain to everybody that I could not get a job as an elf. At our second interview, they actually asked us why we wanted to be an elf, which when you think about it, is a pretty tough question. I decided to tell the truth. I told them I wanted to be an elf because I thought it was the stupidest thing I'd ever heard of. Apparently they liked the honesty. In order to become an elf, I filled out 10 pages worth of forms took a multiple choice personality test, underwent two interviews, and submitted urine for a drug test. On any given day, you could be an announcer elf, a water cooler elf, a bridge elf, a magic window elf. Today I witnessed fist fights and vomiting and magnificent tantrums. A train elf, a cashier elf, a pointer elf, an emergency exit elf. I wasn't at the magic window more than 10 minutes before a man approached me and told me I looked stupid. I have to admit, he had a point. Santa elf, photo elf, usher elf, cashier elf. And this woman's over by the cashier, and her kid is on the floor. He's kicking and screaming and throwing this mega tantrum. And she says, Riley, if you don't start behaving, Santa's not going to bring you all those toys he promised. Tonight, I actually saw a mother slap and shake her child. She yelled, get on that band slap and smile, or I'll give you something to cry about. And then the woman grabs me by the arm and she says, you there, elf, you tell my son that if he doesn't start behaving immediately, Santa's going to bring him coal. Well, I explained to her that due to environmental regulations, Santa doesn't bring coal anymore. Then she put her on Santa's lap and I took the photo, which in theory means everything is snowy and wonderful. But really, it's not about the child or Santa or Christmas. Then I looked at the kid and I said, hey, hey, come here, here's the deal. When you misbehave, when you're bad, Santa comes into your house and he steals things. He steals your TV, he takes your appliances, and he leaves you in the dark. Oh, well, this afternoon I got stuck being a singing elf for Santa. Santa has this elaborate little routine he does with the children. He talks to them and then he gives a hearty chuckle and rings his bells. Then he asks them to name their favorite Christmas song, usually secular, of course. So the back hallway is jammed. I mean, there's a line for Santa, and there's a line for the women's room. And this lady comes over to me, who's asked a thousand questions already, and she said, which one's the line for the women's room? I said, you know something? It's probably the one with all the women in it. And she said, I know your manager. I'm going to have you fired. I'm like, lady, go ahead. I mean, I'm wearing a green velvet elf suit. It doesn't get any worse than this. Well, this afternoon, someone asked him to sing Away in a Manger. To my amazement, he, he paused and said, Little Elf, come and sing Away in a Manger. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. He didn't know Away in a Manger? Well, of course, I jumped at the chance to sing anything other than Frosty the Snowman or Jingle Bells. I know your manager. I want to lean over to her and say, I know a hitman. The little Lord Jesus lay. And then, right there in the middle of the song, he stopped me and he wouldn't let me finish. Have we really forgotten the true meaning of Christmas? This way to Santa land. This way to Santa land. Hi, little girl. <laughs>